excited to finally bring you guys the September or my September thrift haul. And honestly, the reason I titled this the best thrift haul ever, which I think I've titled a video that before, but I think that this is quite possibly the best thrift haul for me to date. And it's not, I've titled them best thrift haul because of price, but this one is the best thrift haul because of the potential of the pieces that I found. And I know that a lot of times I show you guys my thrift stuff and then I say, well, I think I want to turn it into this or that. But the reason this one took so long is because I wanted to go ahead and change the pieces. And of course, I got before and after pictures of most everything. But I wanted to go ahead and change the pieces so that you guys won't be sitting there waiting to see if I do it or I don't do it. And it'll all make everybody happy. I'm happy because my pieces are finished and I can wear them. And you guys will be happy because you actually get to see the finished product. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first item are these shoes. And I I got these for $1. Um, well, everything came from Family Thrift Center or Family Thrift Center or Family Thrift Outlet. And so I believe I went on $1 a day for these. And I just thought that these were really kind of in on trend right now. And honestly, if you bought them new, the sole would probably be white. But um, I still thought that they were pretty cute and I thought I would decide to try them for only a dollar. And then the next item that I'm gonna show you is this really cute hat, and it's just a, like a cream color cap, but I like the fact that it is stretchy, and so no matter whether I have my hair back in a ponytail or I have it, you know, out, um, it'll still fit my hair. And it just says M and M on it, but um, I don't know what that is from, but I just thought it was really cool and I could style it with a lot of different things. Okay, so our next item are a pair of jeans and these jeans are from American Eagle Outfitters and they um, are just a regular light wash jeans and they were actually slightly too short but they fit good in the waist and actually um, I decided to cut them off and fringe the end and so that took a little while to get this much fringe out of them but I really really like them. I wore them um, with some black heels and um and one of my favorite diy t-shirts so i really really like these and i'm excited to style them for the fall okay so the next item is this skirt and i actually got it from family thrift center yesterday and it is actually too big for me i need to take it in but by the time you see it on the after picture you'll see how it looks but i just thought it was cool i know that um what is this? The tapestry is really in right now. And so I thought I was, you know, it's like combining two things, getting bang for your buck, but this is denim and tapestry kind of. And so it's just a flare skirt, it's a midi um, length skirt and it has pockets. So that is always good. Oh, actually back, backwards. It has pockets and I paid $1 for this skirt. It is the brand Main Street Blues and it is 100% cotton, oh, and it is a size 18. But anyway, um, I think that I can just take the elastic in and make it fit, and it'll be like a really cute midi length flare skirt. And um, so I'm really excited to wear this and to style it for the fall. Okay, so the next item are these sporty pants, and um, these are not Adidas or anything, but they are the brand Pro Spirit. Um, I actually think they're like a boys pants because um, they for, say 14, 16 and they fit me. But they were um, like the leg were straight leg and I made them fit a little bit better so that I could possibly wear them with heels. And I just really like the way the skinny leg ones look better with, um, with even sneakers. So I am really, really, really into this sporty look that is going on right now. So I am really excited to keep wearing these because I've been wearing them. Okay, so this next item I also got fairly recently when I went to the thrift store and this was um, 50 cents and it is just a sweater and I got it, you know, when you get in line and you're still kind of looking at stuff, you know, like out of the corner of your eye, trying not to lose your spot in line, but also trying to grab, you know, score some more stuff as you're walking to the line. This was one of those items that I scored on my way walking to the line. And I just really like uh, the pattern on it. And it's just a big chunky sweater. I can roll up the sleeves and wear it with some leggings or um, even some distressed denim. And 
be nice and nice and warm for the fall and even for the winter. Okay, so I'm really excited to show you guys this next item. The next item was our challenge item from August and you guys are amazing and you always give me the best ideas and this one was so obvious I hate that I didn't think of it myself but you guys um, told me to turn it and told me to turn it into a bomber jacket and that's exactly what I did and actually I did not film it originally because I didn't know what I was doing and when I first do something it's hard for me to teach somebody else to do it so I didn't record but I am going to do this again I'm actually going to do it with a regular like football jersey because of course it's football season so I'm going to use an actual football jersey so you guys your um one of your jobs this month is to let me know who you think is going to the Super Bowl this year what two teams do you think are going to the Super Bowl this year and I'll keep my eyes out for that one of those jerseys and then I can actually make a bomber jacket out of that jersey but I just really really love how this turned out I put the exposed zipper on there I love how that turned out I actually took that out of a um, leather jacket or old leather jacket that I had around here and I used a men's polo that I got from the thrift store I believe it was on quarter day but it was the perfect polo because it is kind of like mesh material and then I used it um, this was actually the neckband I used on the sleeves and then I use a, another piece of the uh, material for the um, bottom band for the bomber jacket so I really like how this turned out I like I said I didn't record it the first time but I will be recording this as a tutorial for you guys because I'm really excited how it turned out and it was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be so I'm really excited to uh, be looking for a football jersey so definitely leave that in the comments who do you think is going to the Super Bowl and I will definitely try to get that out for you guys as soon as possible okay so these next two items I am so so excited to find I actually found them yesterday and this is the proof the proof that I needed that uh, the thrift stores are looking at the fashion forecast they're looking at fashion and they know what to put out because I saw so much velvet or velvety material at the thrift store um and this was at the outlet so like that the fact that they pay that much attention to like know what to put out at the outlet i don't know but i did see so much and i am so excited the pieces that i actually picked because there were quite a few pieces and i had a few pieces in my cart but um you know when you pare down you know you can't get everything so well i can't not everything I think I want but um, the pieces that I picked I am very excited that I did pick them and the first one they're actually uh, pajama pants so thank God that pajama pants are in uh, fashion right now this is uh, faded glory sleepwear so it's from Walmart but at any rate I just really like how they look as just regular pants I actually love the fact that it has a little tie in the front it makes them more sporty and then there's like, you know, just this velvety feel. I love the color of these. They're like a really, really dark periwinkle color. Um, so I am really, really excited. Really, really excited to style these. And then I also found like this kind of brushed velvet or crushed velvet, crushed velvet um, look. Um, Cause they're not actually velvet, but crushed velvet look pants. And these are from Mossimo and these are muscle mode and they're an extra large so they were meant to be leggings but they fit me like joggers which is amazing amazing and so i'm just really really excited about these and because i'm not you know i'm kind of over leggings but i do love joggers so I'm really, really excited to style these. They're just a regular black, but that just that's just amazing. So I found these two yesterday. They were a dollar a piece, and I am really, really excited to wear these. Welcome back to Blueprint DIY, Angeline here.